Last year in Omaha, Nebraska, we were introduced to Florencia Manfredi, the first Argentinian athlete to compete in the FEI World Cup Finals. It was a dream come true for the dressage rider, who'd arrived in the USA with her big bay gelding, Banduria Casero. But unlike her fellow competitors, she was on a minimal budget and without a groom. Florencia had a fascinating story, one we thought perfect for equestrian world. So we travelled to the Argentine countryside, around 30 kilometres northwest of the capital, Buenos Aires, to spend a few days in her company. We are here at Campo de Mayo. This is a military facility where there are 400 horses stable here. We got four outdoor rings, three indoor rings, and we got a big field also for eventing, eventing horses. And this is where my horses are stable. This is my place to be. It's half an hour from home, and my horses have the best lifestyle they can have here in the field, in the paddocks, being all day with the sun. It's not like being in the clubs next to the city where the noise is, is disturbing. So here it's quiet. I've been here for the past six years with my horses. This is the, my second year getting my own stable. So I got 15 horses in my stable. I got paddocks for my horses. I think the relationship with my horses is all about passion. I'm passionate about them. I love my horses. Not even my horses, the client horses. Every horse I ride, I love them. I spoil them with sugar, carrots, apples, every single day. I started riding when I was five years old. I did plenty of sports, but I really got into equestrian. I started as a jumper. When I was 13, I switched to dressage because I really loved the, how passionate we got into horses. Dancing with horses, I thought it was the most, the coolest thing on earth, especially when I was that age. And I still believe that now that I'm 35. It's not easy managing a stable plus riding at the same time. In Argentina, unfortunately, it's not like Europe. My grooms don't ride, so they just take care of the horses. I got two grooms for 15 horses. They start working at 6 a.m. They feed the horses. Then they start grooming them. I start riding by 7.30 in the morning and we quit riding by 4. And by 5.30, we're out of here. 5.30, 6. Now that summer is coming and long days are coming, I say even longer. I really trust my grooms. They, they are in charge of my horses. When, even when I'm not here, they are my eyes. They see my horses, they spend a lot of time with them. Some of the horses they can't go to the paddocks because they are a little wild. So those are the horses who hand, are hand walk three times a day, plus hand grazing and everything. I enjoy very much teaching, especially young riders. I teach people from eight year old to 70 year old, great ladies and young. And also I have a, an eventing rider, I got jumper riders who want to do, to improve their equitation on the, on the flat, on the working on the flat of the horses. And I got eventing riders also helping them with the dressage. I'm a very tough girl. Whatever I do in my stable, it's all on my own. People, my grooms, everyone, it depends on me. And that's the worst part. I can't be weak. I need to keep strong even when I got bad days. I need to keep working and working and working hard every single day. I think I'm very self-efficient. In order to put together a stable with 15 horses, most of them like had 10 clients, plus 15, 20 students here and at other locations. I need to be tough and efficient. Omaha was the best week of my life. My little story is that I got no support from my federation, no support from almost just my friends and my students were supporting me through Facebook and social media. But as soon as I, my horse landed in Omaha, I remember walking through the stalls. Everything was set up for the big countries and big names. My horse was with me, the stall, was full of 
shaving packs, but I needed to open the shavings, carrying the trunks through the whole facility, me and myself with the big trunks, and then putting everything together. I was a little tired, but feelings were like overwhelming. It was like, I'm here. I just need to enjoy every second. The flag was for the first time hanging in that kind of event, Argentinian flag. It was like, I, feel, I felt very, very, very honored. I remember when I walked with my horse in the big arena, in the main stadium, people were clapping. Were like, they wanted to see me ride. That never happened to me before. All that people, they were like, I know how many spectators, but it was crowded. And they didn't even know me because I don't have a big name. And they were clapping for me. That was amazing. I love that.